Neil from Essex here today, out doing our third video of this season with a snow push. The last one that we put out, a lot of feedback from many of you about a technique that I was not using and should have. And I believe you're probably right. On a small tractor, uh, there's not a whole lot of need for steering brakes, right? On a, some machines, you have a single brake pedal, but the bigger your tractor gets, the higher the likelihood that you're gonna have two brake pedals. And those brake pedals are gonna break the left or the right rear tire. Now, when you're going along and using something like a push box, you start to lose a lot of your front traction. And many of you pointed out to me that I should be using my steering brake. So today we're gonna to go out, we're gonna spend a little bit of time on my tractor again in another snowfall, but this time we're gonna to try to see how impactful those steering brakes are on the maneuverability of my tractor. Messix, a helping hand with your land. hear from a lot of people that using a push box or a snow blade on the front of your tractor can be a bit of a challenge, right? Because you start to lose the ability to front steer. You'll notice here when I'm turning my tires, I can crank these things left to right, but they don't always kind of like inform or, or change the direction that I'm going. But the one thing here that is really quite cool, right? What, what people have said about steering brakes is absolutely correct. I'm definitely surprised. Um, the snow is melted off enough. My, my driveway was warm here already, so I don't have like a big layer of ice underneath here as I'm doing this. But I'm really surprised at how effective it is. The steering brakes right now, because it is so dry, have to overcome those front tires. Maybe wearing the skid left or right. And uh, it does it with ease. Um, so I'd expect that this is probably even a little bit more effective in another condition, right? Like if it was really icy outside, it would be easier for the tractor to spin that front end around. But that is a fantastic tool. It's a lot more effective than I ever would have guessed. But it was really icy and packed down. I was a little disappointed at how easily the rubber edge cleaned the icy stuff off of the driveway. But now here that it's a little wet, I'm almost pushing water in spots. Um, the rubber edge really does a nice job of uh, scraping things clean. So while steering brakes obviously really help me here with this job, there's other things that you can use this for also. Um, one thing I've often heard is using it as a, almost a diff lock, right? If you're sitting somewhere and your one tire's spinning, your other one's still, using those steering brakes can help get you traction on your other tire by forcing the, the pressure one side or the other. And it would be most commonly used in more of like a farm tractor type application. When you're making your headland turns and you want your machine to turn more sharply, breaking that inside tire helps pull the machine around and is uh, really effective actually in helping you make sharp turns when you need to. So as tractors get bigger and bigger, things like steering brakes become more important, right? That's why on my relatively small machine here, it's been something that I've almost never used before. So in conclusion, like I said, I never tried this before. Um, I didn't have a ton of time out here today, but I was really surprised how effective those steering brakes were. As soon as I started working those pedals back and forth, the front end just kind of pivoted around in a pretty great way. And the next time I have to go out and do this, 100%, I'm gonna be doing this again. So thank you for those of you in the comments that gave a little bit of feedback all the years of doing this kind of stuff. I learned from you too, which is pretty great. So if you're shopping for a piece of equipment and we can help, or if you have parts the service needs for a machine you've already got, give us a call at Messix or available at 800 222 3373 or online at messix.com. Oh! Hopefully, it makes a decent difference because really, you've been you've really been tearing up the yard. I mean, look at that mud over there on the grass, that was terrible. Who did that? Me, Mark, you, Mark, please put this at the end of the video. <laughs>